2012 was the year of infiltration. Right. It, was, it was really just one of those years where when you looked at the results and uh, infiltration was at the top, it was, it was to be expected. It was almost like you thought it was like placeholder text, you know? Yeah. Like, he couldn't have possibly won that many events. Infiltration, infiltration, infiltration. It, it was an absolutely incredible year for him. And I think that it's no doubt that Street Fighter V so far has been shaping up to be the year of infiltration. We'll see if Yukonon can be the man to stop him. It's going to be a Nash mirror. Usually you think about Nash, super fireball, mobility character. The mirror is not going to be that different, although throwing booms against Nash, not as effective. Yeah, it's dangerous, yeah. especially once he gets that B trigger, because it's very easy to react to the Sonic Boom and punish him from the other side. Of course, if the other guy has a B trigger, he can respond with his own B trigger cancel. Yeah, so what you're going to see is lots of absorbing the boom and way more footsies than Nash usually likes to play. So it's not going to be as much projectile as you think. Right. And very course, scrambly matchup. Infiltration always a very mobile match, dashing around back and forth. Yeah, very similar to his DiCaprio play. Uh, that's one yes. thing you'll notice about. Him. Very frustrating to deal with. He, he feigns a lot of movement. He'll just kind of hang out and uh, relax in that range. Although for infiltration, excellent footsies. You can see him player two side in the red. Yeah, already a great start, draining half the life of Yukadon. Oh, excuse me, infiltration in the white. Yes. Gets clipped by the Moon Salt pressure. Oh, what the a, end. Yeah. Oh, wow. He wasn't expecting that to be a crush counter. Otherwise, we'd get a look up from the Moon Salt Slash. But nice EX Scythe with anti air. Yeah, oh, yes. See, there was, but he was too far. He did the wrong strength. I think the Boom pushed him forward. You see the weight from infiltration. He knew it was going to hit. That is the kind of character knowledge that you expect out of him. The understanding that, look, I saw the back dash. I was going to hang out. Let the Boom hit you. Ping pong right into my crouching fears. Love it. Great work from him. There's that forward light kick. Excellent air to air. Oh, air to air from infiltration. Right. Great block on the overhead and, and the punish. A proper punish. Yeah. Great confirm. He gets pressure here as well. And infiltration all over Yukadon so far. Yeah, right now this is definitely looking pretty one-sided. Infiltration still on the pressure, almost stunned. Yeah, close to it. And you see the chase down. He doesn't want to give it up. The rapid jabs just to try to get any of that damage he can. Yeah, and Yukadon, of course, not sitting on enough meter. For Great confirm. Super oh, what a reset. reset. Okay. He pulled the stun himself with the wake up. Infiltration had it ready. Sticks out the jab. You had to think it was buffered into side yeah, super yeah. or one but likely. I, just, I love the option though that he went with the standing light punch because he was thinking to himself maybe maybe he's he's gonna recover in time. So I'm gonna throw out the fastest move. It's gonna yeah. kill you in time. Round one. There you go. Right, and even if it hadn't been a punish, right, if he stuck out any button, he was going to lose the fight. Confirm from Yukon, that was great work. You see the B gauge already built for infiltration just by absorbing two moves. Yeah, and there you saw right there, of course, infiltration the best at using that that knee, the towards light kick as an anti-air against uh, Yukon's neutral jump. Man, I love that counter hit confirm from infiltration. He tried to jab ants here that didn't get it. Low strong maybe a better option, but he wasn't as prepared. Air to air from infiltration, but oh, okay, they well, both are Same problem, that. yeah. <laughs> same problem, just a little too close. I think both of, a bit greedy on the punish should probably try maybe a faster. The air, or, or just go in the air version or something yeah. like or that. Or maybe just stand medium punch in the side or something, right? Oh, Big oh, jump yeah. and a miss hands well, here from yeah. Yukadon. But that's also because Nash with that juicy Round jump roundhouse, the jump heavy kick. Point. An amazing button. Starts with the scythe and gets the counter hit, although wake up buttons from Yukonon works out as well. Oh, he's gonna get the anti-air. Yep, there it is. Uh, lands on the critical art. Now it's gonna be damaged. He has positioning too. He can dash up and get pressure or he can slow it down. And he goes in. Alright, good block. Oh, infiltration. You see four light kick just to yeah. get out of there? That's, that's one of his uh, most common tactics that you see to get away from process. Excellent. Just knowledge of infiltration. And you know the critical arts on deck. You cannot make any kind of mistake, it's going to be brought out. And you know, even though it's not hitting buttons or whatever, but when you see infiltration forward dash, back dash, it's just that movement is so crisp and it's just so beautiful. You see these delays? If any of these medium punches land, it's going to be confirmed sight super. And you know infiltration's got it on deck. Good air to air there. Once again, stopping Yukadon from getting any pressure in. Oh, oh what, what a, a jump, but he wasn't in range. A little too far. Now we're close to start, although Yukadon does have the V reversal, but you know what? It doesn't even matter. Man, infiltration in those situations, you notice, when he has a huge lead, yeah, he does not weird. stick out big buttons. Nothing mm -hmm. big or that has a lot of recovery, it's just jab. Something super light, so if his opponent does come into something, he can just he gets low block, or he can get away, right? He's not doing sweeps or, or any kind of big or attack like back that. Back fists or anything like that, yeah, right. exactly. And that's one of the most important things at the end of the round, is not to overcommit on big buttons like that. Right. You know, the, 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 the key thing about this so far is I just feel like Yukonon hasn't felt have to figure out a way to break Infiltration's defense. He hasn't really gotten any sort of offensive pressure going at all. 
Yeah, and infiltration in the footsies is like so strong. He just he has the control in the neutral almost the whole time. Right. So see, like Yugidon got in there. He did like crouch strong, crouch strong, and then infiltration just blocked the whole thing, and guess what? Back to neutral again. Yeah, and, and conversely when infiltration gets in there, he makes his mix-ups count way more. You see no room because he was scared of the new trigger from Yukidon. And you know, it's kinda interesting. He jumped at him, he knew that Yukidon had that meter. Maybe he's trying to bait him to use those DX slashes with that giant life lead. Oh again, too. Out far. of range, yeah. Try chat and it oh punish? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, maybe a whip from Yukon is expecting something else. And now infiltration looking to close it out 3-0 convincingly and move himself in winners finals. Now we saw MOB make a great comeback against Fudo to lose at the last second, but infiltration trying to show that he is not gonna give Yukon any sort of similar chances. Huge jump in from Yukon, I love the confirm. To the corner and the walk down pressure. The, pay, with the patience and the defense from infiltration again. Too far. They're, they're insistent on using the, the ground. Uh oh, how many games? Okay. Oh, he tried to do yeah, you can on the jump tech OS to get out of the corner. Oh, yeah, I needed a little roundhouse that's very punishable for infiltration. The dash and just <laughs> intercept with the back hit. Confirm, okay. he can spend the super, and he does. Critical Art's gonna close it out for Yukon. No meter going into the third round, but you gotta spend it. Yeah, you gotta do it, and now, with a little bit of a chance, with a little bit of life, getting on the board, of course, infiltration, though, sitting for a full meter. He may even choose to spend this on the first hit to get a life lead really fast, and then be able to build meter at the same rate as Yukon. Right, that's the exactly what he's thinking, man. because, you know, if he spends it right now, he's gonna have the exact same meter. As he did. Exactly. Oh, but he went early! So that's a huge opportunity now for Yukon. Now it's an even fight. Before, even though they had the same life, all that super meter for infiltration clearly gave him the Lead. Now infiltration cornered. The defense is cracking from infiltration. Maybe mistakes now as of that critical art whip. Uh oh, this is the bad spot. Stun will be oh, there, but again, great one. Block block that overhead. I love that he escaped the B trigger. He didn't even care about spending it offensively. He just wanted to get out of there. But around for Yukonon. Yeah, I love that Yukonon tech that throw. He was ready for infiltration to teleport and then dash forward. And all of a sudden, switch to offense. And Infiltration trying to stick out this button. Oh. And that should be that. Yukadon puts himself on the board. He has to think Infiltration playing a bit flustered after he dropped that critical art. I think yeah. it maybe got to him. Nash win. It was a big miss. That was a lot of resources to spend on what could have been a 50% lead. And it, it, kind of a similar situation to the last match we saw, right? It looked like Fudo was dominating the first two. It looked like he was going to win it three straight. And then all of a sudden, MOB brought it all the way back. Yukadon going to try to do the same thing right now. Oh yeah, sometimes you can confirm off that board like you can a jab, didn't get it at that range. You have to know the, the proper range is to use it. Yeah, and again, max distance. Infiltration uses that air to air so well, and then oh, gets the frame trap on him. Yeah, confirm, you see the counter hit confirm from infiltration off light kick. And even steal. builds the meter at the end. Yeah, steal what a way some to go. of that meter from Yukadon coming into the next round with a one bar advantage. Point. EX early. Infiltration at match point again. Back to the usual control you expect to in this game. Great block. You see the dash up. Infiltration tries to take up space after. There's the neutral drop. He was not expecting. He was just trying to get some extra chip off the Sonic Boom. Catch him again. And one more for stun more than likely for infiltration. Use the EX for frame. And you get on out of there. I mean, oh, oh, the reset, he had the yeah. red idea with the fierce, he but he didn't get anything. He went the throw last time, and this time he went for the fierce, and it worked, but it didn't convert into anything uh, significant. Love the air to air. Infiltration has had them the whole time this set. It's such great control. You see, he's looking for frame traps, not working great, out. Yukadon on yeah, critical art. Great defense from Yukadon that time, not falling for the frame trap attempt from Infiltration. The jump in from Infiltration. Oh, there it is. He's gonna it to was the a super, block, but it was too much. No, but Infiltration drops, keeps himself safe with a sight, and the overheads from Infiltration. What? Presence of mind to see the block, go for the B trigger to get out of there, double overhead to close it out. That's that's the kind of knowledge you have to have as your character, but also in the heat of the moment on the Evo stage to say, I just dropped this, but I can compose myself and clutch it out. Yeah, and have the awareness of not even just the